Recent research published in the Nature Journal has highlighted that the scientists at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign and Kyoto University have noticed a strange effect while studying a compound called strontium ruthenate. It is a combination of two metals, strontium and ruthenium. It has led them to find the demon 67 years after it was predicted. One of the most important discoveries of physics is that electrons lose their individuality in solids. With enough energy, electrons can combine to form particles called plasmons, with a new charge and mass determined by underlying electric interactions. The mass of these particles, however, is not possible to form under normal room temperature. In 1956, David Payne found an exception. He argued that if a solid has electrons in more than one energy band, the respective plasmons can combine in an out-of-phase pattern and form a new plasmon. This new plasmon, according to Pines, will be massless, transparent, and charge-neutral. These came to be known as Pines demon or demon particles. The word demon is an acronym for distinct electron motion. He predicted that these demon particles will be able to exist at room temperature. This had the potential to provide more insights into the study of superconductors. In solids, some materials see resistance drop to zero at very low temperatures. This is generally below 130 degrees Celsius. The current can pass through these materials at zero voltage and without any energy used. These materials are known as superconductors. Under very high pressures, superconductivity is known to occur at normal temperatures. However, there are some materials which are not superconductors but have some properties similar to them. One such material is strontium ruthenate. The team of scientists was conducting a survey of the metal's properties when they stumbled upon the demon. Peter Abermonte's team was examining strontium ruthenate with momentum resolved electron energy loss spectroscopy. Under the technique, energy from electrons is shot into metal to observe its properties. During the observation, they found something unusual, an electronic mode with no mass. It consisted of two electron bands oscillating out of phase with nearly equal magnitudes, behaving just like Pines theorized. Now, superconductors are used to run MRI machines and in many electrical circuits, but it comes with several challenges. Very low temperatures or very high pressures have to be maintained to retain the properties. The utility would improve massively if the phenomenon can be replicated in normal room conditions. So if this team or some other researchers can make sense of the results and manipulate these effects, they may achieve a better understanding of how superconductors work. It may also enable scientific breakthroughs to allow superconductors to work at room temperature. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. She has ambitions of becoming a brand. Business Standard